Hey guys, Will or Lolio here. So patch 6.0 just came out, and I'm sure all you guys have hopped in game and tried out all the new features like the character models, the toy box, or the Warlords pre-event. So far, I've already had a lot of fun, but because there's already been like a ton of information on patch 6.0 and I've done videos on it and I know every other YouTuber has done tons of videos on it, I'm not going to cover that that much today. Instead, what I'd like to talk about are a few bits of news that have come out recently. So first off, WoW is back up to 7.4 million subscribers, which is up from last quarter, when we were at 6.8 million. It is kind of to be expected to see a jump before expansion launch, and actually it's, it's a bit lower than the 900k increase we saw shortly before Mists of Pandaria. But I think an explanation for the fact that it's lower is that I think a lot of people are waiting for the release of Warlords because there's been this really, really long content drought, and there's not really that much to do with the pre-patch. I mean, yeah, the new models are nice, but I don't know, I feel like a lot of people are kind of waiting to come back and do that boost to 90 intro into non-experience rather than coming back just for the pre-patch. And with the boost to 90 feature, I, I really see Warlords as being kind of a slow burn type of game where it'll gain more over time. And that's really the big question, is whether or not we're going to continue to see any sub-increases, or if this is just like a little blip before the decline continues. It might be slightly optimistic, but I'm guessing that we'll see at least one more quarter of growth, uh, probably up to about 8 million subscribers, before we see any real decline. I mean, coming up to hype it up, we've got BlizzCon, the release, and quite possibly a patch within the first couple months of release, like we had for Pandaria. And that should keep people subbed and bring them back to the game if they want to leave. People love to stick around for new content. I mean, I don't think it's likely that WoW is ever going to reach its heights of 12 million subscribers again. I think people who think that are just kind of living in a different world. I mean, that was a long time ago now. I don't think it's going to happen again. But I do believe that it could easily reach and maintain, you know, 7 to 8 million for years to come, if Blizzard starts putting out content regularly. The thing that makes people quit WoW, it's not the WoW killer. Like, that that idea of MMOs or other games coming around that will kill WoW, it's pretty much, you know, it's not a reality. Like, every game that tries to do that has failed. Even in recent times, we have games like The Elder Scrolls Online or Wildstar, and maybe those games haven't failed entirely, but they certainly didn't take a large chunk away from WoW. And I think that the only thing that's going to kill WoW at this point is Blizzard not releasing content for it. Because really, that is what makes people quit the game. When we have things like this 14 month content gap, that's what makes people be like, what the fuck am I supposed to do in games? Siege of Orgrimmar for 14 months? No, that's terrible. And Blizzard keeps saying they're committed to releasing faster content, but they just haven't shown us that they're willing to do that. But I think if they can do that, I think that WoW will see continued success and possibly even growth well into the future as long as they keep the team big and keep putting out content on a regular basis. Another thing that encourages new players and returning players is that Mists of Pandaria is finally included in the base $20 purchase of WoW, meaning that WoW plus Warlords is now $70. This is actually slightly higher than the old WoW plus Mists of Pandaria, which ended up being $60, like the price of the new game. But you do get the boost to 90 in it, which makes it nice. And I do think that Warlords has a lot of enticing features for returning and new players, like the boost, uh, the ability pruning to make classes more easy to understand, and the new character models. I think that in a lot of ways, Warlords is kind of the quality of life expansion. I know some people thought Cataclysm was that, and I agree in terms of revamping the old world, Cataclysm really did that, but I feel like Warlords kind of fixes a lot of the other issues that WoW has. There aren't a ton of new gameplay systems, but lots of things have been updated and streamlined to just make the act of playing the game more fun. Like, the new models are the most obvious example, but we've also seen things like the Group Finder, which, on a side note, that is really awesome. Like, it finally replaces the formerly necessary evil of OQ, and it just really makes grouping up a lot easier. It's all cross-realm. I love it. I hope some add-ons will increase the functionality of it, but the base foundation of the new Group Finder is really amazing. And then we have changes to raids, like most difficulties being flexible. Uh, we have the quest log changes, so it's more integrated in the world map and easier to use. Lots of things that are freeing up bag space, like the toy box, the reagent bank, the extra void storage tab, plus we've got flying mounts being usable as ground mounts, merged auction houses for low pop realms, and no more guild leveling, I mean that's a really big one, allows people to play with their friends, you don't have to be like, oh your guild isn't level 25 bro, I can't join it, like that shit sucked. And then you have the stat squish to make numbers maybe more familiar to people who maybe quit in Wrath or Kata and they don't want to come back and see huge, you know, millions of damage or whatever. All these new things serve to help streamline the process of just playing the game, and some like the guild leveling thing make it a lot easier to play with your friends. It's often said by Blizzard that WoW isn't a very good single player game, and I definitely agree with that. I mean, there are some fun single player elements, questing can be fun solo, and the single player solo scenarios were good, but 
The best moments in WoW, the ones that create the best memories, those are the ones with your friends. And your friends are the ones that kind of hold you to the game, right? I feel like if Blizzard really encourages more multiplayer, friend-focused gameplay, they'll actually increase their subscriber base because people will feel more inclined to stick with the game and their friends. So as you can tell, I'm really excited for Warlords, and I think that it has a lot of things in it that are really going to help the longevity of WoW as a whole. But what do you guys think? I've seen a lot of opinions that say it's lacking in content, and yeah, it doesn't have huge new gameplay features except garrisons, but all these little details are really making me love it. Anyway, that's all for me for today. If you enjoyed the video or found it informative, please leave a like, comment, and subscribe. And thanks for watching!